action. Guys, welcome back to another video. Honza here, we got Brendan joining up, in this week. And uh, Brendan, how are you doing? Good. Finally found an apartment. Probably moving Lovely. in this weekend, so everything's been good so far. Lovely stuff. Yeah. Um, it's been very rainy these days. So um, it's funny, guys, to see how much effect affects the uh, mood in the gym. Everybody's quiet. No one's speaking for the last three classes. Yeah. Yeah. It's as, as people think we are training outside. Yeah. It's also the class is so empty this morning. Yeah, so empty. <laughs> All right, guys. We've got a roof, guys, by the way. Yeah, we've, we've got, got a roof. The Not for the Burpee Lamp Post. No. Um, yeah. Guys, anyway, we are going to go to next week. Um, so again, guys, we are going to have a week two of our cycle, which we started last week. Um, so we're just going to kind of look at there, what we're doing there. Um, again, we've got your skill on Tuesday. We've got a Wednesday, Friday conditioning there for the week. Brandon, Good. do you want to kick it off? Yeah, right. So, guys, the same as last week, Monday, um, we're going to start with our back squat cycle. So um, we hit our seven reps last week. So this week, we're going to go for six back squats. What we want you guys to do there is increase the weights a little bit. So remember to write down those weights. Then after that, we're going to combine those strength work with some kettlebell strict presses and then some double dumbbell bent over rows. And then you're conditioning there for the day every two minutes for eight sets, a total of 16 minutes. We're going to go for 12 lunch jumps, 10 burpees, and then one stair set. It's going to burn the legs. I think so. Uh, also for there, guys, and uh, for this week, we're going to keep the first four sets of your back squats together. So you're actually going to have some time extra to build up the weight. So just make sure, guys, when we're doing those, we really want you to start with, um, with a little bit heavier weight on the first and we'll get you some extra time to build up. But also, when you guys are doing it, because you've got some extra time, we just want you to build up the weight. It should be hard for your six, okay? You shouldn't finish your sixth one and be like, oh, that was easy. Yeah, we should be, it should be heavy. We should be Challenge. breathing fairly heavy as well. Um, but for Tuesday, guys, we're going to go back to handstand. So last week, um, we just started playing around. We're kicking up to the wall, holding over the wall. Sam uh, in 5 p.m. was holding for about 45 minutes straight. Uh, without a wall. Without the wall. He was just here. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to follow up on that next week, guys. So on Tuesday, again, make sure you come. We're going to practice maybe some kick-ups to the wall again for, for some of us who haven't kicked up yet. Uh, or you can just start playing around on the floor with some freestanding handstands. Again, we're going to superset it with some bended pull apart, so it's a bit of a, a push-pull combo. From there, though, we're going to get spicy on the conditioning. We've got a 20-minute end rep. Guys, it's going to be a synchro plate ground to overhead. So you're both going at the same time into 30 pull-ups, but you can break those up as you like. Then you're going to have 15 synchro sit-ups and then 30 dumbbell floor press into 30 cars on the ski. So the synchro you're doing at the same time, the rest you guys can break up as you like. Looks like fun. Lovely. Okay guys, then for Wednesday, as you guys know, Wednesday starts a longer day, so we have got three 10 minute AM reps with a two minute rest in between. So your first 10 minutes, we're gonna go for a stair loop, 20 squats, and then 10 hand release push-ups. Then your second one is we're gonna become a little bit harder, so we've got our one stair set, 15 dumbbell goblet squats, and 10 V-ups. Again, we've got two minutes rest, and then for your last 10 minutes, we're gonna ramp it up a little bit more. Promenade run, 10 single arm dumbbell thrusters, and then 10 down ups over your dumbbell. The last one's gonna get hard. Yeah. I, can feel, I think I'm, uh, I'm, I'm gonna call in sick for the last <laughs> one Wednesday, okay? I'm gonna skip Wednesdays, audio <laughs> days. Guys, what we're gonna do for the next one, We've got a 12 minute window, again, same as we did last week, guys. We've got a 12 minute window, um, seven reps last week. This week, we're gonna go down to six. I feel like deadlift's looking really good in the classes, so it's yeah, good, to, yeah. good to see. Guys, remember, again, as we work on the setup on the deadlift, again, same thing, we're gonna make sure we're setting up nice and tight before we do the first rep, just to make them look good. Guys, we got some chin-ups, uh, strict ones, five to 10 into bench press. For the chin-ups, guys, uh, you can also do negatives, um, just for some of us if we can't do them yet. Or for some of you guys who are really strong, you're gonna be doing some weighted ones. So we can just get a dumbbell and get some weighted chin-ups in. Okay. I feel like Luddy is definitely gonna add some weight there. He's gonna add a lot of weight. Yeah. I think he adds more weight than I can actually, than I weigh. Yeah. He can no, just lift can me and pull us back. Yeah, 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 100%. Guys, from there, we're gonna do conditioning. Simple four rounds for time. You're gonna have a 15 swings, 12 box jumps, then those to bar eight lay downs into 400 meter run. And your goal is to get it done four times as fast as we can. Good stuff. Then for Friday guys, we've got a nice long conditioning piece there. So we're gonna team up three people together. Then we're gonna try and complete 3000 meters on the ski oak, 3000 meters on the rower, and then 7,000 on the bike. But the two that's not working is not just going to be resting. Person one, you'll be working on the cardio. Then person two, You'll be hitting an AMRAP of 20 sit-ups, 20 wobbles, 20 down-ups, 20 renegade rows, and then 80 double-unders. 
and then person three you'll be the only one that will be allowed to rest we're going to swap you guys out every 90 seconds so everybody gets a fair chance to move on the calories and on the MRAP. Unless you're in a class with, uh, in a team with Brendan, he said he's only going to do beast and person free. So I'll be watching gonna be, us. He's going to be coaching. resting the whole time. <laughs> um, seems like a good week. I'm excited. Which it's one good. are you the most excited for? Hmm. To be honest, I think the team of three. Team of three. I haven't competed in a team of three or did a workout a team of three in a while, so I think that's going to be a fun one. Nice. Yeah, I think I'm, I think I'm excited for Monday. I feel like it's going to be the, the spicy one. I think Yinka said he's going to jump in. Uh, to get it done. He's just making faces over there on the other side of the camera. Um, but it should be a fun one as well. Guys, if anything, let us know. That is for the week. Guys, if you have any questions about the program or anything, obviously, Brendan's here, I'm here, Sam's around as well. Uh, so if you want to ask any questions, feel free to hit us up. Awesome stuff, guys. Good luck with the week and then enjoy. We'll see you then. See you guys. Cheers, cheers.